She does what she wants. She does what she wants. Now you Jax. She does what she wants. Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and here today with the WrestleMania 35 predictions. Um, Thomas isn't feeling too good today so he's not actually going to be in the video. Uh, as you can probably see the cover in the background he's let down because he's really not well. Uh, but throughout it he is going to be giving me his predictions like we're still going to be going ahead with forfeits. Which we've got a surprise for but we'll leave that until the end of the video. And this is going to be a long video just letting you know because we have 16 matches for the fucking Wrestlemania card. That is big. Uh, and throughout the night, I'm guessing they're going to add more matches because we're yet to hear from the likes of John Cena what his match is going to be. Uh, the Undertaker, what his match is going to be. I'm guaranteeing something's going to happen with Elias. So, aye, we've got a lot more coming. This is going to be a long, long night of wrestling. But with all that being said, let us actually get into the predictions for Wrestlemania 35. Right, so I'm just re-recording this one bit because for some reason my camera decided not to pick it up. The first match that we're going to talk about is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, there's a lot of people involved in this, uh, too many in name, so we'll just go through who we're actually picking to win this. Uh, for me, I'm going to be picking John Cena. I know I should probably go another way ever since it was announced that it's going to be on the pre-show. But uh, I am going to stick with... Uh, John Cena on this. I just feel like he's going to be a surprise entrant and he's going to get a big win here because you know nobody sees John Cena that much anymore. John Cena's going to be there like we already know that John Cena's booked to be in a match we just don't know which match and for me I feel like it's going to be this one. For Thomas he's gone with Sami Zayn on this one which is a good shout to be fair because Sami Zayn is due to return and it looks like it will be at Wrestlemania and for him to return and win the battle memorial would be a big push for his return. So let's just see what's going to happen. Uh, aye, let's get on with the other predictions. So the next match that we've got on the pre-show is the Cruiserweight Championship match. This is between Tony Nese and Buddy Murphy. Uh, and this one, it doesn't really look like Buddy Murphy's going to drop the title for me. So I'm going to be sticking with Buddy Murphy on this. Don't get me wrong, Tony Nese is incredible. Uh, and if he won this, he'd be starting to actually get recognition. But, no, I'm going to stick with Buddy Murphy on this. Buddy Murphy does look pretty much untouchable right now. It looks like Tom's gone with the same, and I'm guessing for the same reasons? Yes, pretty much it's for the same reasons. So, I, uh, we're both gone with the same on this one. Uh, so, from what I've just saw, uh, apparently this is on the kickoff show as well, and it's the Women's Battle Royal. Uh, Thomas, who have you got in this one? Uh, Tom's saying that Nia Jax is going to insert herself into the match because, well, she's Nia Jax and she does what she wants. God, I can see WWE doing it. For me, though, I'm going to go with uh, Asuka. I just feel like because they had her lose the title, they've got to do something well. The whole reason behind her losing the title as well was just because Vince didn't see anybody who could actually take it to her. I mean, for fuck's sake, Sonya Deville deserves that fucking WrestleMania chance. And it pisses me off that she's not going to get it, so... I, I'm going to go with Asuka on this one. So one of the matches that we've recently heard about is the Raw Tag Team Championships match. And this is the Revival versus the Edgeheads. <laughs> Zack Ryder and Curtis Hawkins. So Tom's gone with Hawkins and Ryder for this one. Uh, mainly due to the fact that he believes that Kurt Hawkins is finally going to get his win at Wrestlemania. Uh, and to be honest, I can see that. I can see the big win. For Hawkins at Wrestlemania but I just think the Revival are going to keep part of the championships here it's it's the best call in my opinion just to keep pushing for a way the Revival is champions next we'll move on to the Smackdown Tag Team Championships this is a four-way fatal uh, tag team match and this is the Usos versus The Bar versus Shinsuke and Rusev versus Alistair Black and Ricochet uh, for me in this one, I believe that Ricochet and Alistair Black are going to walk away with it. I don't think they're going to win the titles at TakeOver. Uh, and I think that it will play a little into them winning the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. So I 100% for me, that's the way it's going to go. Thomas? Tom's taking the Usos. And 
It's not, a, a, again, it's not a bad way to go. The Usos are one of the best tag teams in the world, if not actually the best. Uh, and I, they deserve to go on a proper lengthy reign. Aye, that's true. So next we go on to a match that not too many people are happy about. And this is Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin in Kurt Angle's farewell match. Thomas, Kurt Angle and then The Undertaker to come up. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Um, I guess I could see that for the for WWE at least trying to keep the fans happy. They get today the whole Baron Corbin match, but then they get a little something extra on top. For me, I'm going to say Kurt Angle's going to win as well. It's, it's literally just because they're not going to have Kurt losing to Corbin again. Unless Corbin's actually getting a chance now, unless they're actually trying to put over Corbin. Hmm, maybe. So moving on from that, it's a match that we've kind of been looking forward to since this whole fucking storyline even started. And this is The Miz versus Shane McMahon in a Falls Count Anywhere match. The whole build up to this has been the excitement. Uh, it's not even the matches that have been involved, it's literally the build up with the storytelling. At first you just wanted it all to fucking end, and then you got the heel turn and everything made fucking sense. Thomas, who have you got in this and why? You, you're taking Shane in this one? I'm guessing it's going to be for the same reason as me. Uh, the reason that I'm t saying Shane is because we want to see Shane win this and then push on with this whole heel status, try, uh, claiming to be the best in the world, dominating anybody that comes in contact with him. Now we'll move on to the women's tag team titles match. This is another four-way fatal tag team titles match and it's the Boston Hug Connection versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia versus Nia Jax and Tamina versus the Iconics. Uh, for me, I wanted to take the Iconics in this, literally because they are the number one like established fucking tag team amongst the women. So why would it not be the Iconics? But no, I think... The only way for this to go is it's going to be Boss and Hug Connection walking away and then we'll probably see a rivalry between them and Trish and Lita because it does look likely like that that's going to happen. But go on Thomas, who have you got? Boss and Hug. Boss and Hug. Tom's taking Boss and Hug in this one. Uh, obvious, again, it's, it's one of them, you, you can just see it happening. So now we move on to the United States Championship match. Uh, this match at the moment, I'm going to say at the moment right now, is Samojo versus Rey Mysterio. It could change depending on uh, Rey's injury. Rey picked up an injury and it caused him to not be able to wrestle the last match he was scheduled to wrestle. And there's no word yet on if he's actually going to be fine for WrestleMania. But for now, we will go ahead with our predictions, and I'm taking Joe in this match. No matter what happens, I'm going to say that Joe's walking out with the title here. He needs to, he needs to fucking hold on to this championship, and Joe needs to be the one to solidify it as a good championship again. At the minute, it is one of the most fucking useless championships to hold in the company. And it's terrible to see, because it, it's a fucking championship. It's a championship. It means you're better than a lot of other people. Yeah, at the minute, they're just going, here, you can have the fucking championship, and you're not going to be on telly. So you think they're going to have the storyline with Dominique and push for a way Rey Mysterio holding the championship? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Now we move on to a, a championship that's been fucking great for so long, and now it's starting to feel like it's been a little bit diminished. And this is the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, the match is Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor. Thomas? You're taking the Demon King. Uh, oh, th aye, that's one thing to point out. Uh, it is going to be Bobby Lashley versus the Demon King. It's not going to be Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor. He didn't use the Demon for fucking Brock, but he's using it for Bobby. He's undefeated, so I am going to be taking Finn Balor here as well. Bobby Lashley doesn't stand a chance. Next, we've got a career on the line match. This is Triple H versus Batista in a no holds barred match. Uh, Thomas, who have you got? You've got Trips. Uh, it seems pretty obvious. The way the whole storyline's gone, it seems pretty obvious that Triple H is going to walk away with this. Don't get me wrong, it'd be nice to see Batista get in one last big WrestleMania win, but nah, it's got to be Trips. Trips is not losing this match. There is zero fucking chance. Now, we move on to a match that when I heard about it, I was like, eh, who gives a fuck? 
But after seeing the story week after week, it's been getting increasingly more fucking intriguing. And it's AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. They've got away with so much during this whole storytelling. They've brought up uh, Randy Orton's whole drug thing. They've brought up uh, the Indies. They rarely talk about the Indies and with this storyline, they've been talking about them mer and mer and mer and mer. So I, I fucking love this. Uh, I'm going to take AJ Styles in this one. I don't think Randy Orton's going to win it. I think they're going to have the feel good. Ah, it's AJ Styles. I think they're going to have that. But mm, I don't, the heel angle could work. Thomas, have you got? Randall Keith. You got with Randall Keith? Yeah. You feel like the heel's got to take it here? Next match we've got an iffy one for me. It's Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. The reason that it's an iffy one is I believe both of these men should have a big WrestleMania win. So putting them against each other means one of them is going to have a WrestleMania loss, which is unfortunate. But for me in this, I'm going to be taking Roman Reigns. Uh, he's just ca he's just came back for the whole leukemia scare and that. So I I just feel like WWE will give him that WrestleMania feel good moment. Thomas, you feel like Drew's finally got to do it? Are you thinking they're going to push ahead where I'm saying I've dismantled the shield twice? Yep, and then he's going to go for the universal title. Alright, that's fair enough then. Uh, it's no bad way to look at it because both of the men, they, I, I do think that they should both have big moments at WrestleMania, but it's unfortunate that one of them are not getting it. Here we go, the match that I'm most looking forward to on the card. This is for the WWE Championship, and it is Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan. The lead up to this has been fucking incredible. Uh, you feel every little fucking moment of it with Kofi. Kofi, he's, he's, he just deserves it. I'm taking Kofi in this. Kofi fucking deserves it. Uh, it's hard to say because we've got the three big matches. Uh, and you feel like one of them are going to lose, but Kofi definitely, definitely has to get this. I feel like it will just destroy fans if he does, not Thomas? Uh, you taking the same Kofi? Uh, For the same reason? Yep. It's just one of them. You know it's going to de literally destroy the fans if he does not get it. So he's got to. Now we move on to the Universal Championship match. This is Brocky Brock Lesnar. Versus burn it down, Seth Rollins. Uh, so unfortunate Thomas isn't on camera at the minute because he's actually wearing his Seth Rollins t-shirt, uh, and I'm wearing my host of WrestleMania Alexa Bliss t-shirt. Usually, if done, I would have said that it'd be an iffy one, but Rock Lesnar's been working really good matches and putting people over. He might not have been taking the losses, but he's put over like Finn Balor. He's put over fucking. Uh, Daniel Bryan in these incredible matches so I I feel like it'll be the same here with Seth it's Seth will get a great fucking showing but the difference between those matches I actually think Seth is going to walk away with a victory here again it's a case of Seth coming home with a fucking title bringing it back to Raw and we'll actually get to see my Universal Championship matches we'll actually get to see the Universal Championship on Raw a lot more. You got with Seth as well. Nothing else to say. Is it like the same reasons? Just obviously, Seth. Just obviously Seth, right? That's fair enough. We'll move on. So last but not least, we have the triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. The storyline with this has been a bit iffy. Like we've not <laughs> really been see knowing what the fuck's even going on. At moments it's been fantastic, at others it's just been confusing. But aye, it's Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. Uh, it should have just been Ronda versus Becky for me, but it still could be an incredible match. And as it turns out, it's not only for the Raw Women's Championship now, it is also for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. So, Thomas, do I even need to ask? Yeah. Yes? No. All right, no. Right, so basically Tom's going to be taking the same as me here. We're both taking Becky Lynch. After all the build-up and everything, after everything that's happened with this storyline, it's just obvious that Becky's going to walk away with it. And if she does, not then what's been the whole fucking point of all this? Honestly, what has even been the fucking point? Aye, we've got the women's match. Finally, finally, 
fucking uh, main event in WrestleMania. But still, it seems pointless if Becky doesn't get the fucking win. So there you go. There's all of our predictions for WrestleMania 35. As I said, we have something special in store for the punishments. This time, instead of there being one punishment, there's going to be three. What's happening is, we're going to start with this one. The loser of all of the fucking pay-per-view, like whoever gets the most rank in the pay-per-view, is going to be taking one of these. It's a mouse trap, and so Jesus, uh, yes, it, uh, uh, right. Whoever loses is going to be taking one of them. Um, we're thinking to the ear. Uh, we're not too sure yet. We'll work it out. But I. Somebody's going to feel the impact of that. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. That's going to be fucking painful. But, added on to that, we are both going to pick a match each. We are both going to go with our predictions on that match. And whoever loses that will be taking a punishment of each person's choice. So, for me, it's going to be the Roman Reigns Drew McIntyre match. Whoever loses that prediction will have to record. The next, here's what happened, wearing makeup. Uh, just a funny one. No, no going we are paying for one here. This, this one's just going to be funny. Uh, although it is going to take fucking ages to prep. So expect a pretty late fucking recap of what happened at WrestleMania. Um, but I, I figured that would just be a funny one. Thomas has just told me that basically his is going to be the Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio match. Bit of a tricky one, just in case it doesn't happen. Uh, but I'm sticking with my choice of Samoa Joe actually winning it. And the loser of that match is going to be dying the hair, dying the hair, red, white, or silver. I don't think I can get white, so or silver, and then blue. And they have to keep it that way for at least a week. So <laughs> aye, that's going to be a funny one. Um, but I. We're looking forward to what should be a pretty decent WrestleMania. I mean, the fact that there's so many matches on the card might take away from it a little. I hope it doesn't. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, don't forget to buttfuck that like button. Peace.